Hey everybody, so today what we're going to be doing is we'll be showing you how to install a screen on a F510U ASUS laptop. You'll see the lines that are actually here on the screen. You can see that little faint lines, some of the gray lines there. That looks like it's actual physical damage to the actual LCD itself, and that's definitely an indicator that there's been physical damage to the, to the actual LCD and that it won't show a display. For any ones that you do see with a bezel here, you want to be really careful with doing a bezel because you can pop it off and do it all from here, but that location, because the bezel is actually latched here, it's very easy to pry it, and if you pry it, you can actually break it and some of the clips can come off. We're going to be showing you a more efficient way to do it for our, for our standard from this, and still isn't really that difficult. It still won't take a whole lot of extra time, but it's definitely a more safer route to go, and uh, let's just get into it. So you also want to take off, there's, I think there's some tabs that actually do go underneath here that are screwed in because it does feel a little tight. So I'll take that up. Nice little adhesive there. Now you also want to take off these screws that are hidden. All right, now we can just take a little pick there, go around, and this should just come right up. Now we always want to remove the battery here. So on these ones, you would push this little metal piece up, push the latch up, and then it will come out. You want to use a little piece of plastic then. And you can't just pull it because you'll break it. So you make sure this latch does go up. This is a latch here. It does go up. So if you do that, you just disconnect this here. And this is the main LCD cable. We'll just be taking the actual LCD out itself. And there's just a man. It's only held in by two screws because it's already been held in by here. That's where the hinge would go here. So we right took out those screws. So this, now we can just bend this up. And this is going to lift uh, the hinge up. You can also use like a pliers or something like that, but this will come up pretty easy once you do it this way. So, all right, take it up. All right, now you have this, and you'll see anyone's, uh, any type of laptop that you do see has a bezel like this. You'll even see them on some of the MacBooks, they have a bezel like this. Usually they're pretty straightforward because you can just slide them out like that. You see that? You slide it and then it just pops right up. So again, you're sliding it to the right here and then it'll pop right up. Um, you don't want to be uh, trying to break the latch here because it's very easy to break these latches and then you have to buy a whole part again. But um, this is a very easier, much easier way to go uh, so you're not breaking anything as if you said how easy that came. And you can also see the lines here. This is a very in clear indicator of the actual damage to the, the LCD itself. And this is a clear indication. There's no question that this has been physically damaged, um, drop or however much the panel has been impacted. So. It does look to come up just with a little, you can use the same one that you maybe used before. You want to be careful with these two because it's very easy to break some of the latches. You just need to be careful. And you also see there's a little screw tab here. So we want to be careful with that before we totally loosen it up. So we'll be taking it up. And there shouldn't be anything loose in there, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Okay. And we don't want to go all the way down yet because we do have a screw down there. And any ones that you see that have a little square like that, that means they're they're just hiding the, the screw hole. So they're usually a little piece of like tape or they're a little piece of just a covering there just for the screw. So this will come up just like that. The little tabs, you can keep this side. They have a little bit of adhesive on them to keep them in. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. You try not to mark them when you move them. You just want to get them up. Just like that. Alright, so now we have two screws. A screw on this one, and we're going to undo the screw on this one. And that's just to hold more of the frame in a little bit better. So now it should come up much easier. You can see that. Now if you do any resistance on it, it's very easy to break. So. 
sometimes this can be a little bit glued to the actual uh, LCD itself. So, so I'm going to go here. You can always check the bottom and see if there's any screws, but it doesn't look like there's really anything else holding in. So you can lift this up a little bit. This to be a little bit caught down here. There we go, like that. like that and then this comes off no struggle there um, anytime you need to struggle you're probably breaking something so definitely don't want to do that and now it's just a very straightforward uh, screen here to do so there's just four screws and they are all the same size screw Okay, and then the panel should come up just like any other type of panel. Just lift. Oops. Just like that. Be careful of the cable that's attached, which we have removed down there. And, and there's usually a piece of tape here. And you just pop it up. Make sure you have your fingernails ready today. <laughs> so that's a good. Eh. There we go. Okay, this will pull straight back. It'll come off. Be very gentle with this cable. It's very easy to damage. As I say that, that piece gets stuck there. We have your new panel, and we're just going to be doing the exact same thing there. So. Plug it in, it shouldn't be any struggle, so go straight in. Just like that. Make sure there's no gap or anything, and put the tape back on. Right, just to make sure that's loose, we don't want to put this under there, that's not good. Okay. And now we're just going to be going back in reverse for this now. So it's going to be a little bit easier this way. Make sure there's no pressure or anything like that to it. And this will go back on. And always a good way you can just uh, line up the, the actual webcam. That's a good way of really doing bezel um, putbacks. The screws on the side here. When you get the bezel, you want to put the, the fatter piece and a little bit of a longer piece. You want to put that that's on the top. So that's going to be covering. You may think it's covering more on the top. So you put that in and it should slide right in. Just like that. And there's no clips or anything like that. It just slides right in perfectly. Once you're done with that, you can actually put this back on. It's a good way is just to line it up here. Keep the make sure that uh, the cable, LCD cable, is out, and just always keep aware. Cause some other ones could be a little bit more difficult, but this one's straightforward. It shows a loop there, so just put it back on like this. It'll slide in. And you don't want to get that tangled up there. Again, you never want to do this with the battery plugged in. It's very dangerous. Especially you could see a spark come from here. And what we'll do is we'll plug this cable back in. So put this back. So this will go on top first. And we'll just clip like that. And now you want to push down this little metal piece, which I show you if I have bigger fingers, but See that move? If you saw it move, that's that's great. That's what you want. So it's going to go down. Now it's going to hold that in place. Don't try prying that up or putting it back uh, any other way. All right, so the battery's plugged in. And that's it. It's all and it's working.
It's great. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to install the LCD of the ASUS 510U. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this very informative. Please leave a like for, for more computer repairs. We do lots of data recoveries, liquid spills, MacBook repairs, all those type of things as well. Check out our store. Everything's located in links in the description below. So check it out. And uh, anyways, we really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the, the love, comments, subscribes, everything like that. It really does help us a lot all the time. Hit the notification bell to know when we do upload. And you'll get that right in your inbox right away. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.